A technician lubricates the bores to prepare for installation of the pistons. He collects a piston, ensures it has all of its components, and then slides it into a device that compresses the piston rings. A yellow netting prevents the piston from damaging the bore as he inserts it. He continues installing all four cylinders before cranking the engine block 180 degrees to gain access to the other end of the bore holes for the next phase of assembly. He then quickly loosens and removes a series of large bolts. This allows him to lift off the crankcase cover. One by one, he carefully installs all the crankcase bearings. He unscrews and removes the piston rod caps. Having fully prepared the crankcase, he uses a lift assist device to bring the crankshaft to the block and lower it into place. Replacing the piston rod caps over the crankshaft, he tightens them by hand to hold them in place. He turns the crankshaft to access the other pistons. A specialized tightening device gives the bolts the precise torque prescribed by the engineers. The torque tightening device turns in reverse before tightening in order to ensure proper thread alignment. The technician repositions the crankcase cover. The cover now has a bead of silicone around its perimeter to help seal the joint. He again uses a pre-programmed device to tighten the bolts on the crankcase to the engineered specified torque. A cover goes over the oil pump sprocket and chain. A technician now lowers the oil pump's plastic cover into position, ensuring it's properly aligned. A bead of silicone is compressed as he bolts the cover securely in place with a torque-controlled power driver. He carefully positions the cylinder head gasket over the bores. Using a lift assist, he brings the cylinder head to the cylinder block, aligns it perfectly with the help of a guide dowel, and lowers it into position.